Hey friends, welcome back to the Destination Baby and Kids YouTube channel. This is Gina. I am here to play a little three card Monty with you. Just kidding. We're here to go over which Nuna Pippa is right for me. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so you want to play the game, which Nuna Pippa is right for me. Let's get into what the differences are. So um, this last year, Nuna had, I think, like maybe, oh geez, five to seven different infant car seats on the market all simultaneously. Thank goodness some of them have gone away forever. So we're not gonna worry about those, but what we are gonna focus on is the Pippa RX, the Pippa Urban, and the Pippa Light RX. So we're gonna start with the Light RX because that's the one that's impossible to get. Um, if you don't already have yours, they're probably not going to be available until next year, March or April. So they were hoping December of this year, but it's looking more like next year, March or April. Um, so this seat in a kind of, in a sense is irrelevant to like a lot of what the discussion is right now for people, but they get really fixated on it. And they're like, well, I know that that one's the best. It's the most expensive. So I've got to have that one and you don't have it. No stores have it. Almost everybody's sold out. I even lie to people and say, I don't have this floor model, even though I do, because like people are crazy. It's dang near identical to the RX. So if you wanted a light RX and you're stuck getting an RX, you don't have to worry about it. They're really, really similar, very, very similar. So we're gonna get into that. Um, light RX, as the name would indicate, is lighter weight than the RX. The information that Nuna publishes has an asterisk on it, which tells you that they weigh the car seat without the fabric and without any of the stuff in it. So I'm not sure why that's a relevant amount of weight to a consumer when it's not even set up in the way that it's going to be used. It's going to be used with a canopy and it's going to be used with all the fabric in it. So that is a more useful number. When I weigh these both on my postage scale, light RX in, uh, clocks in at about six ounces lighter than RX. It's not a pound, it's not multiple pounds. I don't care what your best girlfriend tells you. This one is like eight pounds, six ounces, and this guy is about eight pounds, 12 ounces. That's the weight reading that I got. If somebody else gets different, that's great, but that's what I got with all of the infant stuff in it and everything in it set right out of the box. So that's what you're looking at. Um, they're both gonna have the Dream Drape, or excuse me, Sky Drape Canopy, which is just uh, the canopy that comes down. I'll show you that, all three of these models do. The biggest difference about this one versus the other two that we're looking at, functionally, is that Light RX, I'm gonna bring this up here, has a no rethread harness, which means there's a tab on it and I can scoot the harness down or raise it up and the shoulders move with the headpiece. So um, that's one functional difference. Another functional difference is on the side, instead of a pocket for uh, the harness, to have a harness retainer to hold it away, you have a magnet. That is pretty much the biggest difference between Light RX and RX, and it's a pretty big price difference. They both come with the RX base, so both of these are able to be used with the RX base. Um, Light RX was 550, RX is 400. So, I'm gonna push this off to the side. If we're talking about RX, which is the current model, um, it still has the ventilation in the back that you get with Light RX. Both of these seats, Light RX and RX, can be buckled into a car without the base. So I think there's a lot of confusion with Nuna customers where they're like, the Urban is the only one that works without a base. It's not like that at all. The RX and the Light RX will both buckle into a car with a seatbelt without a base. Now on Urban, you get lower anchor connectors instead of a base. There's some other sneaky things about this though. We'll get into it. Both Light RX and RX will hold 32 pound baby and 32 inches long. So that's easily gonna take you through the first year. As I pointed out, functionally here, we have a pocket instead of a magnet. Also, on this guy, 
you have what is referred to as a manual rethread harness, which means you are responsible for moving these up to the higher levels. And as you see, there's three positions, which means you're doing that a grand total of two times over the baby's first year. It's simpler than doing a shoelace. There's pieces on the back that literally diagram what to do, but you're just gonna undo a piece, run it through the slot, bring it up to the next position, feed it through. Like I said, if you've ever tied your shoelace or threaded your shoelace, this is the same exact idea, except significantly less annoying, much clearer and easier to do. And something you only have to do, like I said, uh, two times over the course of that first year. So um, if I can get mine to click on there, there we go. Um, normally you do both instead of just one, but that's to give you some sense of that difference versus the headpiece moving up with the shoulders with it. So if you feel like you can manage that, you save about $150, which is great because they're out of these seats really quickly. Um, both of them have the infant insert, which comes out after 11 pounds. I would also argue that there's some things about RX, like the release tab being super clear, um, as well as the handle on the back isn't a handle, it's a paddle to take the stroller on and uh, to take the car seat on and off strollers. It's actually a really nice feature, especially if you've got like a, somebody older helping you with any of the kids stuff. Paddles versus handles a little easier. And as I mentioned before, they all three of these models have the sky drape, which will cover them completely with a little magnetic uh, closure down there at the bottom. Now RX has silver aluminum on the handle. Light RX has black on the aluminum handle, and Urban also has black on the aluminum handle. Most of the other colors are going to have brown. This is called Ocean. This one has the black leatherette. I will say Urban has really beautiful infant pieces, um, so that's very sleek looking, feels very nice. All of the material that Nuna uses is flame retardant free, which is awesome. Um, you get the little magnet on the side to have your buckle hold over, but unlike our other guy, this one is, uh, unlike the light RX, this one is gonna be like the RX where you're gonna do manual rethread. You see there's some holes there, some slots. So this seat is a manual rethread harness. The other thing about this seat that I'm not particularly keen on is that you can't buy it as its own thing. You have to buy it with a Nuna stroller. Now I love Nuna strollers, so why would I dislike that? I dislike it because the value that they assign to this car seat, if you were to take away the stroller and just buy the car seat, even though you can't do that, but if you were to do that, this would cost $400. That's the same price as the RX that we were just talking about. This seat, the Pippa Urban, only holds 22 pounds, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. And it cuts out at 29 inches. So it holds a baby that's three inches shorter and 10 pounds lighter, which means that for the same price, you will be able to use this less than the other model. The other thing that I will say, I am not fond of the latches attached to the seat. Latches, the lower anchors in cars, Sometimes they're really easy to get at. Sometimes they're horrible to get at. I know they provide um, new plastic pieces to go into the car to create the window to be able to reach your latches more easily. I just think there's a lot of confusion about what the seat does with consumers. And I would strongly encourage you to go to a store that has an actual vehicle seat to demonstrate trying to take it in and out to make sure it's something that you feel is easy enough for you to do. Nine times out of 10, when I bring up the weight being less on this seat and have my customers try taking it in and out, installing and uninstalling, they prefer a based car seat, meaning a car seat that comes with a base, which would be Light RX or RX. So um, again, I don't dislike Pippa Urban. I just think it's really important to understand those differences. So Urban will only hold 22 pounds, only hold 29 inches. 
All the other infant seats from Nuna are gonna hold 32, 32. So 32 pounds, 32 inches. Both Urban and RX have a manual rethread harness. Light RX, which like, I don't even know where you'd be able to find one of these anymore, but if you can theoretically buy one, good for you. Um, the headrest moves up and down with the shoulder pieces and it's six ounces lighter. So yeah, technically the lightest one, but still over eight pounds when you actually weigh it with all of the stuff on it. So that's kind of fast and dirty. These two are gonna come with the RX base, which is awesome, has the load leg, uh, rigid latch, anti-rebound feature and incline adjustment. It's not a recline adjustment, it's an incline adjustment. And again, your Urban is only sold with the Nuna stroller only in specific combinations. Value would be around $400, which is the same price as this, if you could buy it on its own, which you can't, and it will hold a smaller kid. So hopefully that makes sense to you as the viewer. If you have questions or you have comments, please feel free to leave them below. If you'd like to like and subscribe, we would always encourage you to do that as well. And if you have somebody that it might make sense to share this video with, we would encourage you to do that as well. Um, you know, spread the love around, give some people information. Okay, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate every viewer and every view. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we look forward to seeing you at our next video.